There is another beautiful fish. Got our first spillway fish. That is a studly fish. There we go. I see fish jumping already. What's going on guys? Nick here with Angling Addicts Pacific Northwest. If you've been following along, you know I am out on a road trip for five days, targeting as many species as I can and hitting as many bodies of, of water as I can. Uh, today I am out here, Lake Billy Chinook, uh, Cove Palisades. I'm gonna be uh, throwing some casts from the bank. I'm gonna pull out my kayak Gonna be trolling around on the kayak, throwing some casts from out there. So uh, we've already got some shade starting to fall into the canyon. So I think I'm gonna grab my stuff and uh, we're just gonna get out here and see if we can't find any fish. All right, well, we've got to, uh, it looks like the first spot I'm going to be hitting up is uh, this area underneath the bridge. Let's go check it out. That oh, looks slick. Oh, something grabbed that. No way. All I did was throw it uh, and ended up hitting in that pile over there, so I didn't want it to get snagged. But it looks like we got ourselves another fish. There is a smallmouth bass. There you go. All right, and there we've got our first little smallmouth bass. Going back. All right. All right, well, we've had our fun at this little spot. I think I'm gonna try moving down just a little bit and just kind of moving along this bank line and just kind of seeing what else we can find out here. Couple of little geese. This place is uh, pretty beautiful as well, but I definitely like the uh, last video when I was out in the desert. There just seemed to really be nobody around. No wake doesn't apply to you guys. You guys do what you want. So I just moved over. You can see where their bridge is at that I was just under and that tree that I was kind of throwing around. It seems to be a, uh, a little more space over here. So I'm gonna see what we can't find. I swapped out from that little tiny spinner I was using back to this uh, fire tiger style uh, rooster tail here, one sixth ounce. Ha, ha, ha. Oof, this thing sails. <laughs> so I've been seeing little fish jump. They don't look like they're very big. I'm hoping that we can find something out here of size. Oof, there we go. You just get a fish on. Are we dragging a stick? Oh, that's another little bass. Looks like another little bass. Oh. Come here, dude. There we go. All right. 
Come here, buddy. <laughs> there you go. All right, well, speaking of uh, finding fish of size, that was not it. just running that right in front of me that's crazy there's that moth butterfly ish thing that i'd seen fluttering around in the water still fun to catch and uh kind of just about to get out here and mix it up ready there we go another little bass our line's all jacked I don't know what these things are. They're, they just look like giant moths to me. But you can see this dude just hanging out. I don't think I need sunglasses on. Alrighty, let's find somewhere else to go. Found a spot on the other side of the uh, lake. Obviously we're back in some sun. Make our way down here. Gonna go out on this little rocky point. There we go. Actually, let's go that rock. Oh, that got snagged, and then I got it unsnagged. Oh, got grabbed, and then I lost a fish. That was uh, a lot going down at one moment there. It's one of the fun things about fishing these kind of lakes, so you never really know what it is you're gonna get. All right, oh, there is a smacker. That uh, is another bass. Yeah? Yeah, that's a bass. That is a bass. Come here, bud. Get in there. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. All right. This little guy. This little guy is ready to go all right don't smack lure so big man try and use something a little bit bigger to uh weed out these smaller fish but of course those bass will go after everything all right give me a trout There's a fish on there. Are you gonna be a trout? That would be really cool. That does not look like a trout. That looks like another bass. There is another little dinker. There you go, dude. It's kind of nice to do the uh, switch up going from fish in the river for trout to out here fish in the lake looking forward to uh, moving around and checking out some of these other areas seeing what we can't get on the end of the line uh, thought it was going to be a fish I don't want to lose my lure come on there we go A 
Oh, up and down, up and down. All right, well, that spot seemed to have a lot more bass than I was expecting. excited so obviously it says camping prohibited but I'm planning on sleeping in my rig right here so we should be able to go fish right down there Ugh. so this campground is uh, pretty full so I figured the best option was going to be to uh, sleep in the back of my rig again. So actually a decent spot right off the side of the road. And we should also have some good access down here to uh, fish for the rest of the night. So that'll be pretty cool. Yeah, this is definitely uh, going to do it. It gives me a chance to be able to fish for the rest of the night. Have a place to sleep up back behind me. And then uh, get back up in the morning. And maybe even just grab the kayak and throw the kayak in from right here. And... Uh, paddle around but for now I'm gonna get things uh, set up up here so I'm gonna throw some worms on here and what I'd noticed about this area specifically right over here so we've got a bunch of trees and stuff all in the water right there so I'm gonna I'm gonna throw over there and then we've also got another one that's just over underneath this tree over there but I think my best bet so far is going to be over here, so I'm going to throw on a, a worm and see if I can't catch a fish. Ooh, ooh, bobber's down and bobber's back. <laughs> There we go. There we go. What is it? Don't be a... Uh, cool, it's not a bass. It's not a bass. That is rad. There we go. We got a... I think it's a bluegill. Looks like a bluegill. Cool. Let's get our hands wet. Oh. Come here, Mr. Bluegill. Oh, that is too cool. These are... Uh, such neat looking fish. You gonna flop out of here? All right. <laughs> there you go, buddy. All right. Bluegill. Hide that hook tip a little bit better. Just the tip. Just the tip. You're gonna like that one, right, Rocky? Shit, I miss you, buddy. <laughs> that one a little bit further i don't know if that's gonna be a good idea oh yeah i'm gonna say stick in there we go stay on sticking closer to that weed line uh i thought would be good oh you're getting in the weeds speaking of weeds we've got a bluegill salad special tonight sorry about face covering dude there you go I should probably be using the uh, the net for these guys too, but another little bluegill. Oh, oh Jesus. I think that's all I'm gonna do for fishing tonight. Uh, I'm gonna get back up early tomorrow morning and get at it, but it has been an insanely exhausting day. So I think I'm just gonna take the rest of the evening to uh, just kind of unwind and uh, get ready for the rest of this adventure that's coming up. We still have, oh my goodness. Lots of miles. Oh my goodness, I can't even open water. I'm going to just uh, dump water on myself, eat this hoagie off this rock, and uh, just take it easy. So I'll see you guys in the morning.
There's not even mayonnaise on there. That's good though. It's not the best idea parking on the side of the road. Oh my god. I was even that bright. Good morning, Lake. Uh, to be honest, I woke up a long time ago and decided that I was going right back to sleep. You just got the cat pooped in my mouth. smoky out here this morning. Oh man, I'm like a junkie waiting for his morning fix. <laughs> I was actually able to get a better shot into the water now that we've got some sun on there. And I was actually surprised to see it is incredibly shallow uh, where I was catching those bluegill last night. And uh, while waiting for the coffee and taking a look around, there are schools of bluegill just swimming along the, uh, the shoreline here. So plenty of uh, those guys around. All right, for starting things out this morning, I got the little bobber set up going on. I've got that, I cast it out a bit further than where I was throwing last night. So we're just past that uh, little line of where the shade starts out there. There we go. There we go. These fish are just too cool looking. Good morning, buddy. All right. There we go. This is definitely not what I was hoping to uh, end up catching out here. All right, something I'd like to try and do before I uh, move on is see if I can't get a uh, fish on here with a fly so I'm going to uh, get this fella out there oh there we go that is a bluegill all right. Fish on the fly. Come on over, buddy. All right. Little dude. There you go. On the fly. That's awesome. Cool. I've made it down to what looks like a pretty killer spot. It was definitely a lot more quiet, a lot calmer out here, and uh, the water actually even looks a lot better. So let's throw some casts, maybe grab that kayak. Gotta love when people put a uh, 
rope down what would be an otherwise very slick descent. But uh, I think I'm gonna throw a few casts right here first and just kind of get an idea. I always hate uh, bringing out my kayak, putting in all that effort and then not uh, catching any fish and just realizing that it's not a good spot. So I'm gonna throw a few and kind of see uh, if we got anything around here. So I fished for about an hour and could not even get a single bite. I just went through a few different spinners, uh, threw on some worm underneath the bobber and just absolutely nothing. So instead of spending any more of my day down here, uh, I'm gonna keep trucking on. Stop selfie. been a long day of driving finally got out here to the lake obviously so I'm gonna set up shop I think I'm gonna set up the tent tonight it does feel a little more campy out here and I just really want to kind of mix it up and get out of the car for once but uh, this lake should be jam-packed full of some kokanee some other trout uh, some Mackinac, which is something I'm really, really, that's really my point for being here. I'm probably not going to even get close to catching one, but I'm sure as hell going to try. So I'm going to get the tent set up, uh, get some food in me, and uh, just maybe uh, get a few casts out here. I know it's really shallow right off the bank, but we'll see what happens. Like nut or butters, huh? We made our first buddy who definitely decided that he didn't want to uh, be on camera anymore, but he likes nutter butters. Send nutter butters. is going to be uh, we can fish an hour before sunrise here in Oregon so my plan is to get this kayak loaded up and uh, paddle out in the dark and have my gear ready to go right on the spot an hour before sunrise and uh, hopefully from what I've seen on video it should be really really smooth out here nothing like uh, what I was out paddling earlier paddling in earlier <laughs> I forgot my coffee. No way. Oh. Damn. All right. Oh. 
now that I've got my camera situation figured out, I just now realized that it was on time warp. So anything that I was saying was not being uh, recorded. And I'm really happy that I uh, did not catch a fish in that time or I would have been uh, rather upset. So uh, long story short, here come some peregrine falcons. But we are on the lake. Uh, I got out a little bit later than I wanted to, but not really uh, too much later. But anyhow, I've been seeing some uh, fish being caught up here by a bunch of these boats that I'm actually heading towards uh, right now. Not, I don't do a whole lot of trolling, so I'm really just kind of crossing my fingers that I don't come up empty handed, but this is something fairly new to me, so I'll take whatever. Uh, it's just actually pretty sweet being out here paddling around on this lake that I've never been on before. Now we're still kind of just creeping along. Uh, got a couple of boats to my left and to my right, just trying to keep up with them, uh, figuring they know what speed they're trolling at. I really don't. So I've just been trying to keep an eye on my gear. I've got the clicker set on, so if uh, something hits our line, uh, I'm gonna know without having to you know, constantly keep looking back and waiting for a tug down on the line. There we go, baby. There we go. Our first fish. Keep it on. Yeah. There we go. We're still on, guys. We're still on. Get in the net. Get in the net. There we go. There we go. We got our first kill. long overdue fish and don't you dare come out of this net and go back into the water oh my goodness there is our first kokanee of the trip i am rather excited about that one that is too cool we're gonna be eating that guy up today go down there. I'm gonna find you. start moving a little bit here too Oh man, getting the skunk off. So I had that down about 80 feet. Let's just do it again. Oh man, I'm so happy to not come out here and not to catch a single fish. We should probably make another pass, actually. We're gonna turn around. Oh, I cannot, those fish are so silver. Well, after four hours of fishing, this is uh, what we've got to show for it. I think I was a little late to the party this morning. It sounded like everybody was just killing it when I actually intended on being out there, but it took a lot longer uh, to paddle out than I had thought. But I'm gonna get this guy cleaned up, check out that bright red meat that should be in there, and uh, maybe give it a quick eat before I head out of here. Well, that was the uh, camp host. So then for our finished product, we've got some delicious looking meat. I cannot wait to throw that in a pan. A little lemon pepper on this guy. Oh yeah. She's ready. All right, well, I'm gonna scarf this thing down because I'm running out of time. We gotta get checked out of this uh, campsite, but I'm gonna pack up and uh, head off to the next lake or uh, reservoir or whatever we uh, run across. The adventure continues. Uh, as always, I appreciate you guys joining along with me, but until next time, best of luck to you, and I hope to see you out on the water.
Salmon. Mm. 